During his ongoing three-day visit to Malaysia, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the Regional Marketing Office of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in Kuala Lumpur, that will also serve as a hub for house engagement with the wider Southeast Asian region, and will facilitate close defence industrial collaboration between India and Malaysia. The Royal Malaysian Air Force relies heavily on the Russian-made Su-30 fighter jets. And another reason for the opening of the regional office was the potential to service maintain the Su-30 fleet of the Royal Malaysian Air Force, eliminating the need for costly trips to Russia. Malaysia has expressed interest in the Super Shukhoi upgrade package proposed by India, which involves enhancing the in-house systems and technologies of the Su-30 with fewer Russian components, leading to greater self-reliance for Malaysia. The Indian Navy has decided to acquire 22 single-seater Rafale Marine aircraft and four twin-seater Rafale B aircraft, and the procurement of these aircraft will serve the dual purpose of training naval pilots and conducting missions from land-based naval facilities. The twin-seater Rafale B is not designed for aircraft carrier operations, and is primarily used for training purposes, that will ensure readiness of Indian naval pilots in the future. These aircraft will enable the Navy to build expertise and proficiency in carrier-based operations, ensuring a smooth transition when the time comes to operate from dedicated aircraft carriers. The Indian Navy is set to commence the evaluation process for submarines offered by three foreign manufacturers in their respective home countries, that includes Germany, South Korea and Spain. The evaluation process for Project 75I is expected to begin by the end of 2024, and these submarines will undergo rigorous evaluation and scrutiny before announcing the winner of the tender. The shortlisted manufacturers will be asked to demonstrate several key parameters of their submarines such as stealth endurance firepower sensors in their respective home countries, to determine their capabilities performance and suitability for the Indian Navy's requirements. India's Godrej Aerospace which is already manufacturing components of dry cavalry engines and manic engine, has announced its intention to manufacture modules of General Electric F-414 engines, aiming to become part of the supply chain for the production of engines that will power India's next generation indigenous fighter jets. While the specifics of the deal are still being finalized, Godrej Aerospace is planning to invest $30 million to establish a facility in Maharashtra, for advanced manufacturing assembly and integration. The Indian Institute of Technology Kanpo has developed an indigenous version of the Kamikaze drone, that can carry a warhead of 6 kg, and can travel a distance of 100 km. The battery-powered drone is equipped with cutting-edge stealth technology, allowing it to evade radar detection effectively. It can be deployed using a catapult or a canister launcher, and officials have said that the next phase of development will involve target destruction trials, which are scheduled to take place within the next six months. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said, that the Chinese S-400 air defense system deployed near the Indian border region would not be able to intercept the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. He also said, that the S-400 system is fine-tuned to counter ballistic missiles, which follow a different trajectory and have distinct characteristics, and due to the BrahMos missile's exceptional speed and agility, it is difficult for any surface-to-air missile to intercept it effectively. Oh, Mark, drop it.